right, hey everybody, how's it going out there? This is Average Dad, Cooper out of Atlanta, friend of Coach Matt. We are here with our new co-host, Bridge, to cast some Castle View Esports. Bridge, say hello. Bridge. Well, great start to the first season as we have some audio difficulties, but we're here to cast the season opener for Castle View High School playing against another high rated highly ranked team out of Colorado as we're going to get the season kicked off. Castleview had a great preseason uh, four game run if I recall I think they went 4-0 uh, and oh, and they, they did a good job running against other teams in the region and um, it's going to be a good showdown. I think Castleview is now ranked fourth and they going up against another top five team with rock canyon and we're going to get loaded in and started in just a few minutes uh as we as we kick off this this season opener for the fall season of play versus rocket league coming to you out of colorado via atlanta on the east coast and bridge will be back in just a minute he's my co-host he's a castle view student and we're excited to be here uh, a couple of things about Rock Canyon making this an interesting, interesting match is they are the defending state champs. So Castleview is going to put put everything they can into this to dethrone them early if they can. But uh, we should have a pretty good match. We've been watching Castleview fine tune and get some finesse down on their on their strategies as they're moving from corner to cross and aerials and really stepping it up on defense and we are excited i'm excited to see what rock canyon brings to this um as as the third ranked team in colorado they were three and one in the preseason um and as we said castleview went four and oh so some things we're going to be looking for in this match is who's going to fly the most right rocket league is all about boost management getting up in the air hitting that ball um and that was uh that that is a as a key factor in dominating the pitch, uh, defense, rotations, and positioning. We'll be here to kind of fill you in on some of the nuances of the of the game, as well as calling out that play-by-play -play as as we get going. So, positioning, aerials. You'll see these cars flying through the air in this arena, 360 degrees, um, 3D arena, picking up boost pads, uh, flipping down the field in this 3v3 exciting fast-paced five minute per game uh, series this will be a best of five to get things started off um, so don't be late to these games because they can be over in 24 or so minutes but it is fast-paced the entire time so we're waiting to get our two teams loaded into the game and then we will come back to you in just a few seconds go for this season opener of Rocket League Colorado as Gore Gore for Rock Canyon takes the kickoff and we are already on the offense with a boom at eight seconds in. Go ahead and help you out. We're going to get these team names up there. As we have Rocket, uh, we have Castleview over on the orange team and Rock Canyon to so Rock Canyon's taking on an offensive stance as Elwall is going to try and get this ball out of there and get it clear, but it's going to be denied by Paper, and we've got some side wall combat going on here as Parsi's able to defend that one, get it out, and Elwall is going to try and take that pass out, but Gorgor -Gor is kicking it right back into the center, and that's that's going to be a goal for Gorgor -Gor for Rock Canyon early in this game, 47 or 45 or so seconds in, 
uh, putting one on the board right off the crossbar. Grid, you here with us? I think it's just uh, a matchup that uh, most definitely is even. I mean, uh, for Colorado, I think that uh, Rock Canyon might just have a little bit of edge on uh, Castle be here already, but uh, I think the matchup here is even. Yeah, as we see, Gogor is going off the ceiling with a nice little flip, but it's defended by Castleview. Trying to keep this score, trying to get one in to get it tied. They can, but uh, keep the damage as, as low as possible. As you can see, Parzi's coming in where we've got Castleview on the offense now. Gogor is going to try and clear that ball. Are they going to be able to? Elwall gets a soft touch, gets it right in the Parzi's area, but we are no-go for another goal from Rock Canyon as Tarzan flies up here and get that thing out of the way. They gotta be dangerous with those clears as they can send them straight into the center as they did, but Paper's there to catch it and put it right back on the offense for Rock Canyon, able to get right past that defender, and we almost have another get as Castleview is able to clear once again. This game is very, very back and forth. And yeah, the defense on both uh, sides have been great so far as uh, this game has just started. Uh, you still have two minutes, so uh, potential for many more goals. It looks like uh, Cassidy is going to take the offensive uh, kind of stance here, just slipping up once. But, there we uh, go. Tied it up just like that. One and one. Parzi able to take that rebound and put it right through the net. Yeah. It is something that uh, it was expected to happen uh, just there when they let their goal open. But uh, see how this kickoff goes. Halo. Oh, that oh, was an amazing Scorpio. save. Oh, my God. Amazing save by Scorpio on that kickoff as Rock Canyon almost gets a steal. Those early kickoff goals, but here we go. Paper's almost got an open net as Parsi's gonna try and get over the crossbar for a defense, able to get there and knock it straight back past the 50. Gorgor is gonna catch that one. Let's see if they're, they're doing a really good job of keeping their positioning. Scorpio Music with a soft touch. Paper misses it just barely. Parsi might be able to try to get the corner, put something into a pass over the crossbar. We've got a dead ball. As everyone's just kind of hanging out Sunday morning style in the corner here. Gorgor is gonna try and fly off the wall. Let's see if they can. Get a pass, they cannot, and we are in the corner. We've almost got a couple commits going on there. Parzi's flying up, just barely missed the angle there. And Gorgor sends it back. A soft pass to Halo, bringing it back. So Rock Canyon is on the offense. Castleview's gonna have to do something here. Scorpio Music clears it, trying to go off the wall. Elwall picks it up. We're gonna try to see if we can get a pass to Parzi. We do, but not able to connect. And Scorpio Music is gonna be back on the defense. And we're gonna see if Rock Canyon can make something happen here. As we're hanging out in the corner, Scorpio's gonna try and clear them with a rocket and ride all the way back to the other line. And then Halo sends it right back again. Denied by L Wall as we are once again playing in the middle of the field. Rock Canyon and Castleview are vying to get that next goal to try and seal this thing up so we don't go to overtime. We're almost hitting the one minute mark and denied an amazing denial and then halo brings it back for the rebound yeah, and that's one thing i mean uh this has been a lot better as we saw in yesterday's game uh Caspia was not doing the best but i think uh i think they put pulled it together this is a much more dominant performance or more matched up performance uh than we saw yesterday when they were reversing camel back in uh, arizona uh, but yeah i mean I think they took um, they took stuff away from that game, and they're gonna they're gonna try to bring back their title in this game. Yeah, I think that's true. Yesterday, we're uh, just referencing a scrim against Arizona. The Castleview had where they, they took a lot to learn, um, and they put it into practice. As we've got 45 seconds left, and oh well, a little miscommunication there with a face to face from Castleview. But they're going to try and get something done here if they can. 30 seconds left to tie this thing up to go to sudden death overtime. But we are going to game two, Rock Canyon's favor. We go Gorgor to catch that one up at the 50 to put it somewhere. Parzi able to steal it back, sends it up into the air. They might be able to get a rebound off this one as we've got Scorpio Music and Elwall going for the challenge. 
a dangerous 50-50 by Scorpio is, there we go, now we've got some defenders for Castleview sitting back. With 10 seconds left, can they get a cheat, a, a squeak goal in here? They are able to get it just past that and is... just like that. Scorpio music yeah. ties this thing up. We will probably be going into overtime here unless they get a, someone get the kickoff goal. But uh, seeing how these two teams have been playing, I don't think we're going to have a kickoff goal. I think we're going to go right into overtime. Yeah, two seconds left. That ball is going to get kicked off. And when it hits the ground, the timer starts. And it could be up in the air. Things can happen in Rocket League. As you can see, the timer doesn't stop until the ball hits the ground. And just like that, we're in overtime. Sudden death. Game one, sudden death. Gorgor takes it as Rock Canyon is going to be on the offense for this post-game well, try. That was very good as Castleview is able to deny them. Halo's on the defense as Elwall tries to flick it over and not quite able to. And Gorgor misses an aerial on that one. A little miscommunication. Rock Canyon, are they able to get it? They are. Scorpio Music scores with 20 seconds into overtime. And uh, I think uh, that was play that was executed just perfectly uh, by Scorpio. That aerial, uh, the defenders just weren't ready. Um, they want a server change. I don't think we're on East, but uh... Uh, sure. Yep, we will be right back in just a second, folks. We're gonna do a quick server change as we get this game in, and hold on, real quick. All right, folks, we're going to do a quick server change. So in Rocket League, uh, there's servers across the entire world, and we're going to move this one closer to the West Coast. Um, and we should be back with you loading in in just a few minutes. Uh, let's and, see. Uh... There we go. We'll see the... The squad's loading in in just a few minutes um, as we sit on this loading screen. Thanks for being with us as we kick off Season 1 of Colorado Esports Rocket League. We've got Castleview High School playing against Rock Canyon. Um, first game went to overtime, 20 seconds. We got a goal from Scorpio, Scorpio. Music to set that one to a 1-0 in favor of Castleview as we kick off. Bridge, take it away. All right, so we're gonna have two of these teams. Uh, it's gonna go in favor of Castleview, uh, but a nice save from Gorgor. Uh, as Halo gonna be kicking into the corner, rebounding it off the wall, and uh, Pars are gonna be barely missing that one. It looks like it's in favor and in the offense of uh, Rock Canyon. And already, 20 seconds in, we have a demo. Um, El Wall gonna be pushing up, challenging that, and. Uh, Looks like it's going to be taken away or taken away by Gorgor uh, as Castle are going to have to get on the offense quickly and Gorpio going to be pushing up on this one. It's in the corner which is not the best spot to be when you're trying to make an effective offense. Uh, it's hard to say who's in control of the ball right now uh, but I think we're in the offense and uh, they're going to get the starting goal as Rock Canyon is going to take the lead by one. That's right, yeah, as you saw, they got that into the corner and were just able to pass it through. As you saw, we had three Rock Canyons sitting in there waiting for that pass. Uh, it's just good positioning, that's just good Rocket League. Yeah, and uh, like we see here, uh, Parts has been winning his kickoffs. It looks like uh, it's one of his strong suits. But uh, there's three CBHS players on the same side. I don't know what that's about, but uh, we're going to see an aerial demo. You don't see those a whole lot, but it, it sometimes happens. Uh, it's going to be in favor of Rock Canyon. They could probably get an easy pat uh, off the wall shot, but uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, the defense of CVHS is keeping up with this quite nicely. Uh, looks like Paper going to be hitting it back over, but uh, Scorpio going to be taking control. And now we have a rebound over to Castleview's side. Uh, Paper going to be leaving his goal open as well as the other part of the team of Rock Canyon. But it won't matter as uh, they're quickly to get that ball out of the trench as they put it in. But uh, looks like uh, 
We're gonna have an offense and simple mistake from CVH. I was just leaving that uh, goal. But, uh, they could still, there's still possibility. They still have a lot of time to work with. And uh, I think they just got that angle they weren't expecting. And, yeah, I was just able to catch that. Halo's able to catch that redirect off the corner and popped off the wall and flew through as we get that off the kickoff goal. Those are so hard uh, to defend against if you don't have someone sticking back. You can see that Castleview went for the corner boost there, which is a, it's a risky play because it leaves your yeah. goal wide open if you miss that kickoff and just go sailing right in. It's going to get the better of them, but it's a stalemate kickoff. Uh, it was in favor of CVHS, but uh, it looks like they are uh, standing corrected as Gorgor going to be hitting that over. Two defenders in the same corner, uh, but it's going to work out for them uh, as Gorgor going to be hitting it up, popping it up, but uh, I think the CVH defense is ready for it, and they will be. Halo going to be getting it off the wall. This is a great place for CVHS to probably push up, but uh, it won't really matter. Uh, they're not taking it, I don't. But if they're not going to be on offense, uh, this might be a hard game to bring back as Rock Canyon's already three up on them. But uh, yeah, three and is a hard one to come back from. But as we saw and as we've seen before in Rocket League games. Scoring happens in seconds, you know, kickoff goal in mere seconds. So everything is, the game's always wide open until, until it's over. Uh, we'll, we'll see if CVHS can, can try and re recollect their thoughts and, and get back on the offense just like we said. See if they can get one on the score. I mean, they probably will be, seeing how they played the last game. But it's going to be taken down into a minute. They can't stall time. They got to uh, take... Uh, the, they gotta take the offense here. I mean, what is there to lose? You know, if you can get a goal here, they could have another chance. And, uh, close one from LOL. It's gonna be a pass. The Rock Canyon defenders looked a little confused there for a second, but, uh, they're gonna be rebounding it over to, uh, Castle U's defense. Castle U gonna be, uh, hitting that one up. Paper and we trying to go in for that aerial uh, like we've seen with a lot of these other teams uh, That they faced before they were not really on the wall. They were not in the air and uh, I think that's a big change uh, That CBS might have not been able to adapt to but because they've been in the air But they don't know how to do with an in-air defense, but uh It probably won't matter. I mean they got the skills to probably pull this one out I mean, Yeah, I mean they, they've they, they, you know, they took game one over time. Uh, and, you know, it's game two, so things, things change. You know, sometimes when you win game one, you, you feel like you got it, you get a little loose. Um, and sometimes when you lose game one, you really, really want to fight as hard as you can to kind of step it up. Uh, but as we've got 24 seconds left, um, CBHS really has to do something to, to turn this one around. As Gorgor almost gets past two defenders on that one. And I think you're right earlier about two minutes left. It's kind of a uh, Put up or get out, and, and they uh, needed to maybe just go full hard press offense. But like you said, what do they have to lose? Either they get some some, some goals on the board, or uh, or they or they don't. But they really need to get those goals. And uh, we're gonna see this one stop at 3-0 uh, in Rock Canyon's uh, favor. So they're gonna take game two, um, and we are tied one and one in this best of five series. It's uh, it's very interesting uh, how I think they were a bit cocky and the the um, that cocky mindset I think it left their goal open. Now they were trying to make as much plays as possible, uh, but it's just hard when there's another defender to just rebound it. It's a very fast pace and it uh it makes for some interesting gameplay. Now. Uh, Castleview is 1-1 with Rock Canyon, and we'll see how this game plays out. Yep, here we go with kickoff for game three as Elwall is going to put it straight into the corner for uh, Rock Canyon to hit the defense early on, and they're going to crowd this one and see if maybe they can just force a goal in there. Uh, but again, that's kind of dangerous because you're leaving a goal open as Gorgor is going to get it right past the defenders, and they're going to get that goal 15 seconds into the game. 
And I have as evident uh, that they got a little cocky there on the offense. I mean, yeah, I just got caught out of position a little bit there. I think they just got a good steal. And we're going to kick Very off. Second kickoff cool. of the game. So here we go. Dead ball in the center. Halo flies up and gets it. Is is it going to go in? It's not. Just off the side. Elwall's going to try and clear this one, but they bring it right back as Paper sets it up off the backboard. Almost got the rebound goal there, and we are back on offense with Passive flying over the goal. Looking to get something to something to tie up the score, just like in game one, as Scorpio Music flies up and takes it. Sends a pass, not able to connect with Elwall. Hard is going to see if they can make something happen into the corner. This rebound can be dangerous as he's going to put it right back into the center. Halo is going to deflect that one, keep it way up in the air. Paper flying through. Scorpio music denying that one. And back and forth, back and forth in the air. Kind of a change of pace. We've been playing on the ground a lot, and now nobody's afraid to fly. We have an open goal. Are they going to get it? They are. This paper takes advantage of that aggressive Castleview offense. Yep. And, and they just pushed it. up. We pushed up and it ended up not going their way, but uh, we'll see how Cat if Castleview can come back. Now it was a uh, 2-0 first game, so you never know what they're capable of. Um, they're gonna keep one defender back. Now they know this is important. Uh, as Parz is gonna stay back. Yeah, Parzi looks like maybe they're gonna try and pull a two too aggressive forward or try and rotate someone into the back more often as Scorpio is going to challenge this one in the corner. And Elwall is going to try and get something. Parsi is going to try and crowd that corner also, which is a rough move, but Paper misses that aerial attempt. Scorpio is able to deflect it through the air, almost passes it to Gorgon as Elwall tries to catch it. Not able to do so. Halo steals the ball up in the air. Nice feathering of the boost, trying to get a soft touch on those wheels. Paper takes it, almost tries to dribble flank over the defense, but the battle goes through. And Halo sends it soaring towards Castleview's goal. And it's deflected back up into the corner as Gorgor tries to stop this one in the trap and see if they can make something happen. Paper sending into the corner over the wall, trying to get a pass, not able to. We are still looking at Castleview on defense, trying to get this ball out of here. Elwall is going to try and clear it and does a great job of that. And we are back sitting floating up in the fifth. As you've seen from these two teams, I mean, it's really just back and forth. I mean, there's a great pass here, but it's just back and forth. And they need to make some bold plays, and that's what they've been trying. But uh, yeah, it's getting teams, them caught off guard. Both teams have been doing a really good job of intercepting the passes. Gorgord snags that one, sends it off the sidewall, and tries to catch their own pass just off the edge. Halo's doing a little flip reset kind of thing going on there. Pretty advanced move. Uh, Elwall stops the defensive play, tries to pull up in the corner. Are they going to be able to trap this when they are? Castleview is looking pretty good on offense. The double commit to try to get the ball out of there. But Again, we've seen that before, and it usually leads to an open goal situation. This takes this one out. And they they clear it. They are. They're back on the offense. L Wall sends it. Scorpio sends it. Everyone's sending it. And will they be able to make something happen here? They need to get some space. It looks like they've got a lot of crowding. I think uh, that'll just. I think there was too many people up there. If they were. I think about what they were trying to do is try to get like that pass, but uh, I think it was just a little late to do that, and uh, they're lucky it didn't lead them to an open goal. Yeah, sometimes you see that ball kind of die in the corner, and you're not there, and you just want to get up there and get it out, but you don't realize that that actually just adds more cars to the field, and you got a nice defensive move over there by L wall try and change things up with just a minute left. CPHS needs to get something done here. And they got two goals. At least. They faked twice. L wall, what? Not able to make it happen. The defense from Rock Canyon has really been a point. As Halo catches it, sends it back. And Gorgor grabs that one, and can Scorpio Music challenge this 50-50, and they do. Uh, sometimes when you do that, you leave an open goal, and Tars barely misses, and we got one It barely makes it off the side. Scorpio Music up there trying to bring this thing back. So 
hit it in the Rock Canyon side of the field and try and get some time on here to make one goal and then maybe a kickoff goal after. It's got eight seconds left. Cars is going to try and send this one up. Do they have someone in the air? They do. They have Scorpio music in the air. And just like that, we've got another goal on the board here. Two and one. Eight seconds left. Just like game one, it looks like Casper is trying to make for a dramatic game to this guy. They're trying to get it back, I think. Uh, if they can just make zero second goal or a kickoff goal, they'll be right at home here and uh, we'll keep it in favor. But uh, unfortunately, I think uh, Rock Canyon has this one in the bag. And uh, it's going to be unfortunate as uh, that uh, 10 second goal is uh, pretty crazy. But, uh, yep, a little breath of oxygen to, to try and get you somewhere. But Rock Canyon answers by putting another one on the board. Two goal deficit is very hard to come back from. They're gonna try and get the ball on the ground as fast as possible. This is to be it's almost impossible to get two goals <laughs> zero seconds left. Uh, Stay I don't know. Never <laughs> yeah, but, Good game, uh, well played all around. Yep, uh, it was most definitely a match that uh, CVHS uh, probably couldn't afford to lose, but. Uh, We'll see what happens here. I mean, I mean, both teams have been doing uh, some pretty good stuff. I mean, it's just those little goofs that uh, kind of get them caught up. But uh, we'll see what happens in this game. Maybe CVHS will come back with a bang and win this game and then uh, tie up the series. Yeah. Uh, but we'll have to see. Um, Add some drama to the experience. They, they clearly have shown that they can put goals on the board and make it. So as we see, we kick it off with game three. Rock Canyon has two games up on Castleview as Castleview will try and like, uh, saying, bring this to, uh, to a game, a drama-filled game series, five-game series in Colorado. Top ranked teams in Colorado Rockets. So we're just going to try and get that defense. They're not able to get able, able to get past and get a one on the board with 30 seconds into this game. Trying to seal the deal and end they're this series. To, they're just trying to they're just trying to get it over with. They want to go home with the victory. Uh, so we're gonna see a kickoff here in favor of Rock Canyon. Uh, looks like it's going to be popped up in the air by Parzi as Elwall trying to challenge. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but uh, it's going to go in favor because those defenders were there. Scorpio is going to be going up for it. Loses the 50-50, but uh, Parzi is going to be there to back him up. It does not look like they have a f defender back in goal. Uh, this might go, not go somewhere, but uh, we'll see. It is going to go somewhere. It's going to be put back near the corner. Uh, paper missing the simple aerial but uh, that's okay it's gonna be uh, redirected by halo but they're not gonna be caught on the orange team's side as Gorgon losing that 50-50 paper is gonna be going up the they need another defender back they're gonna have it and will this be a snipe goal no Gorgor will shut that down and put Parzi on the wall he's gonna go for a ceiling shot uh, but uh, does not seem to quite go through L walls staying up. They're the everyone on CVHS is staying up here. They are going aggressive because they know they don't have much to lose here. No, they feel uh, like they, they've got to make something happen to get this one in. And just like that, Scorpio Music's will. going to make something happen, taking sheer advantage of a slow, slow deflection from Gorgor and being in the right place at the right time, positioning the rocket everything and if you can get someone in that top spot right from the goal to catch those rebounds and those passes that's how goals are made in this sport so we have uh, as we see the other team oh but there's gonna be a goal uh, as we uh, as i was trying to say the other team uh is not running a fennec i mean we saw those fennec last game or, or in arizona uh, but it does not appear to be that uh Rock yep. Canyon running any Fennec. Yeah. Mostly I'm surprised. Octanes and uh, looks like CHS is running the Fennec. 
Yeah, I also have a Dominus. Wide range of cars, and I mean, there's two hitboxes on the board. Uh, an Octane, which uh, Fennec also has the Octane hitbox, and you're gonna have the Dominus spread out. It doesn't really see it. Doesn't, you can win with almost any car in Rocket League, but this, there's just some cars people prefer. Uh, yeah, there's, there's like really. It's gonna be a nice, yeah. Looks like it's gonna be a nice save from. Wow. Great both save teams. by Halo there. Deny that goal. Roadworks gonna try and dribble this one in. They're not able to get it. It's uh, yeah, it's a little unfortunate. That looked like it was going right in. The post robbed him though. Uh, as we see, Scorpion gonna be hitting that save. L wall on the wall. Uh, but L wall gonna be trying to go for that shot, but it, it won't go in. Scorpio almost hitting it. That crossbar does not let him get it though, and. Uh, it's gonna be an open goal, but not anymore, as CVHS is gonna be able to try to get this one on the offense. L wall, again, hitting it off the wall, yeah, plenty of has. But anyway, they're gonna try to hit it over to the blue side. They're trying to get on this offensive side here, because right now they have to make something happen. They can't just sit and play defense if they do that. Um, Rock Canyon has pretty much got it in the bag. I mean, yeah, they really need to get a good clear up the side or, or somewhere and try and get a play and get some passing. Uh, we saw something, trying to get something there, it's dribbling from the center. And I remember we talking to Coach Matt yesterday about the their dribbling and, and ground skills, uh, which maybe could be a, a defensive measure against such a heavily aerial team. Uh, but yeah, they've got to get something going here, which is a minute left. And maybe get that, that goal on the board. They still have a minute, so it's still possible they can tie it up and possibly go to overtime or get another goal. But uh, Halo's gonna shut this one down. And, and based on how they're playing, Rock Canyon has the series in the bag, but we can't say that yet because we don't know. Uh, well, I mean, we've seen Castleview put up goals late, uh, tying goals late. They've responded quickly. Um, you know, a minute is an eternity in Rocket League. You know, can score off kickoffs, you can score off deflections and, and long snipes. And I mean, they still have a lot in their arsenal if they can just get something off of their wall and into Rocket's uh, area. And I mean, as the, uh, I think, uh, the game's fast, but it feels like an eternity. I mean, that's kind of how it plays. Fast and like, it feels fast, but uh, a minute does not feel fast. It feels like it goes by pretty slow. And I do not know what just happened there. I think that was a save. A great yeah. save. Yeah. They're trying, they're, trying to, they're trying to repeat every game and get something on the board or another goal on the board in the last minute, and they're not able to do so as Rock Canyon takes another one in this series. Um, and that's going to take us good games, well played all around. Um, we saw a lot of flying. We saw a lot of dribbling and a lot of, uh, of really good takeaways and steals. Bridge, what, what's your, what's your recap for what, what um, we just experienced in Colorado? For, for this, uh, for this game, I think every team or both or every, both teams, <laughs> every, this every player. <laughs> Every player played extremely well. Uh, it's just those little mistakes that uh, Cassidy has to get down. And I think with proper practice and, uh, you know, just knowing what they got to do, I think they can possibly and uh, be more dominant than they already have been. As uh, we know, I think they're fourth in the state. And, I mean, for good reason. They got the good mechanics, uh, and they have the good positioning. And just what they probably need to work on is just having that uh, that defense and being ready for what comes their way. And I think that would uh, significantly boost their performance. Yeah, I think, and you know, let's Rock Canyon is, I think it's a defending state championship, so getting a game up on them and putting putting points on the board i mean that is a anytime you're playing someone who's who's already shown that they are 
you know, capable of taking home a trophy and and not getting just completely swept away is a great showing. And I think Castleview showed a great start to a season. Um, they were very aggressive, as we, we talked about. Um, and I think you're right. There's just a couple little things, maybe some communications to knock out or to, to get pinched up. And, and I mean, this is a good team. And um, if they're starting off the season like this, then yes, it's a loss, but it's an incredibly well-played loss. Um, that you know there's a lot to come out to come out this season i mean if we're talking to the top five teams in colorado and um if this is the caliber of that play then i would say that castleview you know deserves to be where they are um and there's just i think six more games in this season and it'll be really exciting to watch what they're able to do and i mean yeah they deserve their title it's the fourth in the state um I, I think they deserve it as well as Rock Canyon. They defending state champions. I mean, they're they deserve that as well. I mean, it's just the skill levels are a little different, but I mean, and it makes sense. It's just time and practice, and I think uh, yeah, both teams are gonna be at least. Uh, They'll be fun to watch. That's for sure. Yeah, um, must have. That's gonna that's gonna do it for us out here. I'm average dad Coop over in Atlanta with our co-host Bridge out of Castleview High School. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching, and tune in every week uh, around this time for Castleview Rocket League esports. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you guys. <laughs>